out of there. I was just cleaning my gold pan. And you might be asking, why would someone choose to spend all day, every day, crouched over a mountain stream with their hands down in the freezing cold water the whole dang time? Sounds crazy, but you'd do it too for the chance to strike it rich by finding gold. Gold makes people do crazy things. So crazy that we'd say they got gold fever when they leave their comfortable homes and head to the mountains to seek their fortune. You see, there's some history to this madness. When gold was found in Colorado in 1859, people left their homes in the east and traveled by wagon across the prairies, hoping to make a fortune. In fact, so many people came that we called it a gold rush. Thousands of people came here in just a few months. They rushed here so that someone else didn't find all of the gold first. Woo-wee, I've got gold fever too. I spend my days exploring these Rocky Mountains looking for gold. I'm called a prospector, and a prospector's life is not easy. To join the gold rush, a prospector didn't need many things, just the right things for traveling in the mountains. I'm like most prospectors. I carry a lot of extra clothes, blankets, a tarpaulin, a frying pan, a plate, a cup, a coffee pot, coffee beans, salt pork and hard tack, a gun and a knife, and my mining tools. A pan, a pair of tweezers, a canvas bag called a poke. Woo, that's a lot of stuff. Some prospectors have mules to help them carry their supplies. When we start out, we stake a claim on a stream in the mountains. We then go to an office in town and fill out a piece of paper with our name and the location of our claim. Yep, it's how we protect our discovery. This paper proves that I have the right to look for gold along my stretch of stream and no one else can pan there. They'll be in trouble if they try. Well, it's great to find placer gold, you know, the gold that's carried in the river to this spot. What I really want to find is the source of the gold. See there across the river? That's a rock outcrop and it's got gold right in it. We call that the gold ore. If it's real rich, we call it the mother load. You see? Prospectors dig their gold pans down deep and lift out a big pile of sand. Then they gently swish the pan in the water like this. The water washes out the lightweight sand and leaves the heavy gold in the bottom. They call this looking for color. When a prospector sees the yellow color of gold in his pan, he jumps up and yells, Eureka! That means I have found it. Most of the gold I find when panning is in little flakes or small nuggets. This is called gold dust or placer gold. I use my tweezers to pluck the gold from the bottom of my pan and I put it into my canvas poke bag. I can use pinches of the gold dust in my poke to pay for things I need, like coffee and ammunition for my gun. It's kind of like leaves blowing off a tree. You see, as wind and water erode rock on a mountainside, the gold breaks free from the ore and is washed down into the streams. When I find placer gold in a stream, I follow that gold like a trail to the outcrop where it came from. When a prospector finds an outcrop of gold ore, they claim it. Then they sell the claim to a mining company for a lot of money. Hard rock mining is the kind of mining that removes gold ore from mines under the ground. It's dark and dangerous work. Don't care for it much myself. Well, that's my story. Gold fever makes a man do dangerous things. As for me, I'd rather just stay above ground, not rush too much, and just pan for gold. <laughs>